Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. This is the second part of uh, a video related to problems of uh, programmed obsolescence that we discovered on the FC5 uh, culture uh, vacuum cleaner. Actually, it's a mopping vacuum cleaner. So, essentially, we discovered that this model is very prone to corrosion and ours was destroyed, lost to corrosion in uh, less than 10 miles, about 120 users. You will find the link to that video in the description portion, so please watch it first uh, for easy understanding of what goes on. Now, definitely we have a problem because there is absolutely no protection oil to neither the clutch assembly or any of the bearings of the shaft that drives the mop, mop rows and therefore we have to introduce oil because I bought a new model now don't get me wrong uh, this is a beautiful and very useful device and we need it in our household so I had to buy a new one uh, which caused some steering and commotion by the culture dealer when I showed the first video. But anyway, uh, no further comment. Now, the important part here is this clutch, which I have kept open. There was no other way, it was so much corroded. And as you can see, the artifacts of uh, operating under heavy loads due to seize bearings was that the crown is completely machined by the pinion of the motor here so why the bearing seized is because they were running dry on oil and wet on humidity and therefore I chopped off open the torque limiting clutch and it's made out of a steel crown I hope it focuses, which is supposed to click around and jump on the tooth inside of the bell. Now, um, why do we need to have an over torque latch? It's simply because you can get something caught in the rollers, or simply if the bearing sees, this would be a very efficient way to salvage the gear on the crown, on the other side of the crown, where it is already. Yeah, this one. So, if we have an overload on this shaft, or consecutively of the timing belt that reaches from here to here, where the rollers are driven, there is a timing belt, which is not part of this video, um, it will continue to spin and make a clicking sound prompting the user to stop turn of the device and rescue or disengage whatever obstructs and prevents the motion of the rollers. Right. Now, water goes, goes in. It's kind of normal. There is a wet environment around. This is not a dry vac device. So, uh, yeah. We need a way to input oil here to protect the bearings of the clutch and to protect the crown of the clutch itself because you can see it's badly corroded as well now how are you gonna do that first we could already disassemble the whole thing now that's quite an ordeal let me tell you because the whole device is made by a click assembly meaning that there are screws but the plastic is already clicked so this assembling to have the spot in hand is quite a deal but obviously we can bypass the whole situation and if we drill a small hole here quite precisely we would be able to penetrate inside with our oil 
and if we drill a little bit more we will drill through the back side of the crown of the clutch which is plastic and our spray could reach the internal organs which is namely the crown that slides inside and the clicking mechanism and this is what we're gonna do because we don't need this to happen again so the plan is to drill go to the crown and insert a certain quantity of oil inside then pull a little bit back try to move our spray and figure out if we can inject oil into this cavity now this cavity will protect the lower part of the assembly because on the upper part we have the motor and when sitting properly engaged actually it kind of obstructs the view however we are dealing with oil which is supposed to be fluid and there is no sealing bearing or not even a joint or a gasket here so we hope that afterwards when turning the vacuum cleaner upside down oil will go and ooze pass through this junction here the plastic closes and ooze on the housing of the motor now you should not put too much oil because there are brushes inside this is a brush motor you can see them slightly and oil and brushes of the collector commutator of the motor do not mix well so we shouldn't be extremely uh, creative with the quantity of foil that we input okay now let's get all this thing into action so here I have already started the drilling process this is about the right point where we should drill now this is definitely not the most appropriate drill but we are dealing with plastic and this shouldn't have too many consequences so I will drill through the first wall knowing that I will have to be very gentle and take the drill bit out in the process quite frequently to remove chips because we don't want chips to fall in the gearbox although they are plastic chips we don't want them to so you'll take some time and I will resume the video when the process is finished so here we are we have drilled to a depth with respect to the surface to about 15 millimeters which means that we have penetrated this crown as well and we can liberally inject oil straight into the clutch right I give it small shots so that the foam will not form and overflow too much out of my hole this is a very thin oil it is a Teflon they call them super oils uh, it's very slippery and kind of fluid so it will penetrate all over hopefully now during the first use some of it may as well drip onto your floor and therefore we will need to drain it which will be accomplished by placing the vacuum cleaner first upside down so that oil can leak from this cavity 
into this one and cover the motor. Yeah, and afterwards we'll leave it in a, the normal position where it's supposed to be, which is supposed to operate. Now the only thing remaining is to close this hole here, which I will accomplish by removing the excess oil around, uh, cleaning with alcohol to remove the excessive oil, and using a small shot of thermic glue. And afterwards, that will be it. This is about what you can do to prevent this magnificent device from being destroyed by corrosion as our first one did. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy your new protected device and, well, if you like the video, alright, hit that like button. Subscribe on the channel as well. I will be publishing other videos about disassembling things or cutting other things around with angle graders. You know, I mean, having fun with tools and learning something in the process, basically. Alright, good. So far, have a nice day, and yeah? thanks for watching. Bye-bye.